Okay, this is what we're gonna make today. It's not very hard to make. And, you know, people always get mad at me. It's like, well, you know, I gotta use $10,000 worth of equipment to save $10, but actually I don't, I'm not using $10,000 worth of equipment. That's what people always accuse me of though. And uh, you could actually make this out of a piece of oak if you make the spaces in between there bigger. You know, so you could make this with your table saw or something like that, and then people complain they don't have a table saw. But anyway, so what this is for is when you have a pair of scissors, you actually, the blades actually need to curve. Kind of, you know, that's exaggerated. They need to curve like that. And there needs to actually be a gap right here. So if your scissors are too flat, like somebody stepped on them or something like that, you need a tool to set those with. And they sell a variation of this, and I'll link it in the description for you. But we're just gonna make this real quick, and then in later videos, I'll show you how to use it and how you can get that curve into your um, scissors and make them cut much better. All right, let's get started. I got a piece of scrap brass here, and I'm just going to flatten it off, clean it up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna cut an eighth of an inch slot in there. All right, so apparently it turned off. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so this is an eighth of an inch. This is a quarter of an inch. And this is, I guess, 3 sixteenths right there. Okay, so that's got it finished. Like I said, in some later videos, I'll show you how to use it. Wasn't very hard. And again, remember, you could make this out of oak if you want to. Hope that was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.